All right, Charlie and I are in uh, uh, up in New England now. I'm gonna check out some places we've not seen before. We're gonna start out here in uh, in Cape Cod, uh, Massachusetts. There, kind of out out in the bay. Um, had a real cool hotel. It was an older hotel. Um, it was right here on on the the bay. Had a real cool view here. Um, we're gonna check out some stuff. An old lighthouse. The the beach you saw there at the beginning there. The sign there on the water uh, about great white sharks actually come in and and eat seals, catch seals and eat them. We, we saw a seal out a little ways, couldn't really get, it was too far out to kind of get a good good look at uh, on camera, but we did see a seal swimming out there. We didn't see any great white sharks, but I guess that's kind of the the inspiration maybe for Jaws. I don't think any of Jaws was filmed out here, but uh, the inspiration and kind of the setting was, uh, was Cape Cod, I believe, uh, at least for the first Jaws there in Amityville. But, uh, just gonna check some stuff out here, the lighthouse, uh, get some cool views here of, uh, of Cape Cod before we move move on inland just, just a tad. cool to be out here check out another beach different kind of beach than i'm used to uh charlie and i've been to some of the other beaches you know the big touristy beaches myrtle beach uh some beaches down in texas louisiana and florida uh, but this this right here was just different the, the water was cold of course we're further north but still it was towards the end of june even the sand felt cold here just to walk on but it was still cool to see no no real waves like we're used to either but uh just some real cool smooth water Stay here in Massachusetts, but head a little little further, not really inland, but off of uh, the islands here and uh, the, the main part of the state anyway, still still kind of on the coast, but we're going to move here to Plymouth and uh, check out Plymouth Rock. Um, it's real cool to actually see the rock here in just a second. It's where it originally was. You'll be able to see kind of a, a split, a crack. It's been put back together, but in 1774, they tried to move the rock. Uh, into the center of town they ended up breaking it and they brought it back the broken piece put it back together here but it has been marked 1620 that's when the, the pilgrims landed came across in the mayflower and, and came here and landed on uh, in plymouth massachusetts there's actually which i didn't know before we came but uh, the mayflower too is docked here as well we'll go check it out in a second it looks really cool um just sitting right there uh just just along the water um, it was uh, was built in the 50s. I wasn't aware of it at all, but uh, it's a, a replica of the original Mayflower. But there's the rock down below. 
just it's protected here but uh where it always was just right along the water you can see here uh, it's kind of stuck half in the water half in the mud uh, as the tide rises I think the water comes up a little bit around it but not completely and, and you can see all the all the boats along the harbor the, the yachts and fishing boats and stuff and we'll move over here just just a little ways it's just a couple minute walk maybe if that minute and a half two minutes or so walk over to the uh, the Mayflower too and check it out the Mayflower too. It was uh, it was built in England, actually using uh, reconstructed blueprints and original kind of methods of, of shipbuilding. There, handmade, a lot of handmade stuff. Uh, it's almost an exact replica. I believe it's got electric lights on it, and I think there's a, a staircase that that uh, replaced what would have originally been a ladder. But otherwise, it's the same. Um, it was launched in 1957 and actually sailed over here from England. Uh, following the, the original route that the original Mayflower did. Um, it still moves around occasionally, not much, mostly for repairs. It did, when it came over, um, it did move from here up to New York City, uh, just for kind of a big celebration before it came back down here. And it's done a little sailing, uh, nothing back across the ocean or anything, but just along the up northeast the coast here up in New England. But uh, real cool to see it just sitting here especially amongst all the more modern boats and ships that were uh, docked and floating around nearby. But real cool to see it uh, sitting over here by the, uh, the rock, Plymouth Rock. from one Massachusetts Harbor to another just right down the road not too far away here uh, gonna check out Boston it's another place Charlie and I had never been to uh, real cool city here at least the parts we went to are real clean everything felt real safe I'm sure there's some bad parts to it here too but uh, at least every every area that we went to felt, felt good and clean and safe um, real cool vibe here just gonna check some stuff out We're gonna start with uh, an Edgar Allan Poe statue so Poe lived here for a while his house is long gone now, but uh, he did live here uh, in this area where the statue is, this Poe Square, I think is what they call this. Uh, we're going to check out this real cool Edgar Allan Poe statue here in just a second, um, over near this pond. Um, the statue has got him kind of walking down the street and got a, a briefcase opening up and a raven flying out. So it was, it was a real cool look to the statue. Um, everything here is just real chill. So we were here, you know, on a Sunday. I don't know if that's got anything to do with, with anything, but uh, uh, things just felt real calm and, and uh, peaceful and chill. We'll cross the street over here, check out this, uh, this post statue. Poe was born here in, in Boston, but he never actually was a big fan of Boston. Uh, there was one one quote he had that uh, was talking about the residents of Boston had no soul, that they're, they're well-bred, uh, as very dull persons very generally are. Um, he wasn't a big fan of a lot of the other Boston uh, authors either, talking about how that they were, they were very flowery and uh, overly moralistic. So he... he Left Boston, never never became a big fan, and Boston never was a real big fan. Never really claimed him uh, until more recent times. So this this statue was unveiled not quite 10 years ago, I think 2014. They've kind of started to come around a little bit and uh, at least claim, claim Poe a little bit anyway. Well, he's a little more well-known, I guess, for uh, uh, Baltimore, uh, Richmond, Virginia. There's some, some stuff there that they've got for him too, but... Uh, uh, 
not not as well known about Boston, but this is actually where he's from. on up the hill here just a, a little bit from the statue and uh, check out the capitol building the massachusetts state house it's real cool to see it right here uh that it's you know right here in the city a lot of the major u.s cities aren't actually capitals but boston's one of the few that is and uh, it's just real cool to see the the state house here they call it the new state house um you know it was actually completed in 1798 actually when maine i believe was still a part of massachusetts um was when this, the new state house was completed and open, just down the road a little bit from what they call the old state house. Um, but it's real cool. I, I like the, the gold dome there, the bronze dome. Uh, you see, vote, vote for Larry here. He's running for president if you need uh, uh, a good candidate. But um, it's just real cool to see the Capitol building here, um, just just amongst the city, just amongst this, this park here too. Uh, turn back around and get another, another view of it here. But uh, a lot of brickwork here, so it's kind of got that, that traditional capital building-ish look, but a little more colonial going on there with it too, which makes sense being, uh, being here in Boston. Boston being uh, you know a pretty old city there at least for the US it's got some cool old cemeteries we we kind of walked up upon this cemetery here just right in the city uh, not sure of any significance here I'm not sure if there's any uh, maybe some old politicians or something because it's not far from the state house I don't know if there's any any significant graves here or any significance to the cemetery but real cool to see just this real old well-kept cemetery right amongst the uh, the buildings here some of the sky, uh, skyscrapers just kind of cool to see a uh, little little odd compared to uh, what you're used to seeing in some cities but just cool to see in this old one and finally before we head out of boston i want to get down here to the uh, the waterfront and just check out the skyline really cool skyline just really clean looking down here um, the whole city at least the whole city that we went to everything we saw was just impressive uh, i became a big fan of boston um of course nothing beats new york city but uh but boston's a cool one especially just along the water here everything looks real cool um so we just wanted to check it out before we headed on out of here And that's it for this trip. So Charlie and I are going to head out of Boston. We're going to stay up here in the uh, the area, in the New England area, kind of check some other stuff out for a few days. But uh, that's it for Boston. We're going to head on out of here. <laughs>